folks and welcome to the festival of horror and welcome back to Power Metal Gamer. Today we've got special people on the show here. We got yourself, Mayor of Warhees, and we got two special guests here on the show. We got Pinhead. Make my monster grow. Hello there, sir. Hello. And next we got the evil jester from hell. <laughs> we got the evil jester from hell and today we've got movies recommended for your Halloween viewing Fuck you guys, come on. Who's under the masks? Ah. It's me. We got Morph Man as the evil jester, and we got Mr. Coleman where his hair is all over the yeah, place. Now, where's my glasses? So, guys, we got today, we got movie recommendations that people should be watching for Halloween this year. So, uh, I'll hit it off, will it? So, the first movie you guys gotta see is a movie from 1982. It's called Creep Show. It's uh, written by Stephen King and directed by George A. Romero. Morphe only seen it for the first time recently. Yeah. Really? Yes, but I've seen the forced kind of story on it. But I didn't see the other two or three other Creep Show. That's crazy. Yeah. Creep Show's good. But uh, Creep Show is basically a movie where there's like four different like mini stories within the movie. Uh, the, well, my favorite one is the the crate with the like little fluffy monster in the crate and he eats people and shit like that. It's a great, fantastic movie, and Morphe hasn't seen it until recently uh, so go guys go watch creep show it's fantastic so morphe it is your choice of a movie now what would you recommend people watch probably interview with the vampire that's such a great vampire movie i think it's probably the, one of the best ones in my opinion probably one of the best vampire yeah, movies ever after made. fright night no fright night is fantastic no i wasn't a fan of that at all. And, or john carpenter's vampires James Woods. Yeah, Man, there's not a great vampire movie, yeah, but is, Interview with the vampire, vampire is a fantastic yeah, movie. Is, yeah. Halloween? Maybe I would watch that in Halloween, I don't know. It's each set around until you I think vampires should be an honourable mention though. It's, uh... Yeah, well, Interview with the Vampire is based off an Anne Royce book, so. And then the Irish director directed it. Who was it? Neil Jordan. Neil, Neil Jordan? Jordan? Yeah. yeah, oh, cool. Didn't know that. Didn't uh, no, we didn't know that. Yeah. Here's a Guinness to that guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now, Mr. Colm, have you got a recommendation for us? Oh god, my recommendation is one of my favourite horror movies ever, a movie called The Haunted. It was a straight to TV movie. It was made... Straight to TV? Yeah, 91 and 92, I think it was, and um, it's um, supposedly a real haunting that happened in America, in Connecticut. Check it out. Very good movie. Um, a few familiar faces in it, you would know from like... Uh, no, horror movies in the 80s and the 90s and just dramas and stuff. Straight to TV, yeah. I remember we watched it before and the, the, the family, is this the same one where the family sitting at the table and the chandelier falls down? And yeah, we watched, we watched it here. We did, we watched last it last right. year or something. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was good. And see the big black shadow and stuff. Yeah, it's a really, yeah, yeah, it's a really good movie. Yeah. Uh, for, 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 the, for its budget, it was pretty good. It was, it was one, of the, TV four, movie. It was one of the first movies that actually scared me. There's a scene where when the family go camping, and all the demons in the house are going crazy and all the neighbours are out and all the lights are like going off in the house and there's all the screaming you can see all these shadows going by the windows yeah and it's very frightening it's brilliant i love it so the haunted guys check that out um i will leave all the links in the description to the trailers for these uh, movies um so my next one is i'm gonna in the same vein as uh, creep show and i'm gonna go for tales from the dark side the movie um, basically it was the TV show at first and then it started, it started into a movie which came out in 1990. Um, it's basically four small stories within the one movie, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. But uh, Blondie, you know, I didn't actually know her real name at the time. I didn't know her real name. I was to tell It stars Debbie Harry <laughs> as the witch. Basically she captures this little boy. Um, he's like, uh, she's about to cook him and he pulls out a big book and he's reading stories to her. And uh, there's the story about the cat and the killer cat from hell, yeah, and then yeah. there's Lover's End, and um, it's a really, really good movie. Uh, if you guys haven't seen it, check it out. It also stars Christian Slater and Steve Buscemi in the Mummy one. It's a, uh, it's called Lot Lot Two Four or something. It's called really, really good movie. So uh, Tales from Dark Side the movie, check that out. My next one is The Entity. Oh, yeah, the Entity. This will probably have the most underrated horror movies of all time. What's like, it about Morphe? 
this uh, woman, it's apparently a true story, but uh, she gets uh, sexually assaulted by a ghost. Based off a book, isn't it? Yeah, but apparently it's... The book story. was based off the story. Yeah, it's a regular story, but uh, yeah. she gets sexually assaulted by a ghost, but uh, then she has to go see a psychiatrist, and the psychiatrist tries to pull up all past from her family, maybe it was her father, he was kind of sexually harassing her and stuff. But then her kids start seeing this and all, and then, then, she the, get, yeah. Yeah, then her son gets a broken arm because he's trying to fight off and it's attacking his mother. And, Stuff, but it's really, really for the time the effects now are really good. Like in the 1982, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, for the time, the, the really entity, good. the entity, absolutely yeah. fantastic movie. Yeah. Another movie People we watched as kids. Yeah, yeah. We should have been watching as kids. <laughs> no, it's, yeah. it's, it's like ghost porn. Yeah, pure <laughs> filth. <laughs> ghost smut. It's like, ghost yeah. smut. Hey, no ghost porn. It's gonna happen to Morphe one day. He's gonna yeah. be thrown under the ceiling. His arse cheeks are gonna be spread, <laughs> and it's just gonna be, you just gonna see blood coming from the ceiling. Keep your eye for the Morphe rape movie, <laughs> which is coming to theaters near you. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mr. Coleman, your next movie. My next movie is Poltergeist. The the first one. Yeah, let's go with the first one and the second one. Third one is a bit questionable, and yeah. I, I enjoy the reimagining, but. You know, it's not which one is your favourite out of the two, uh, one and two? Oh, I don't know, it's very hard. So which one would you recommend to these people? I'd recommend one. One, I remember watching Poltergeist one years ago. Um, I used to sit up on the tour tonight and watch movies with my dad when I was a kid. Yeah, no, yeah. You had a video collection as well when you were a kid. Yeah, but we used to watch movies because Channel 4 used to show horror movies. I think it was on Thursday night and Friday night they used to show horror movies. Oh shit, yeah. yeah. And That's why one did the same. So my, my mother would go to bed and me and my dad would sit up and I was terrible for scaring myself. I'd watch all the horror movies, me and Toy, always watching horror movies, scaring the hell out of each other and I'd sit up with my dad but with Poltergeist there was one scene my dad went to the toilet and I was on my I was about 12 and I was on my own and she opens the door and the demon screams and she slams it again and it scared the balls off me. <laughs> and I remember being like trying my best to hide or whatever so my dad came back down and pretending I wasn't scared and oh such such, such good movies. Such good movies. It's basically a haunting. Do you know who directed that movie as well? Spielberg, wasn't it? No, Spielberg produced it. Ah, that's uh, it was directed by Toby Hooper, same guy that did Texas, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Massacre. Oh. He directed that movie. And and everyone says Spielberg all the time. And you know, here's a bit of trivia about Poltergeist as well. You know when you know the bodies that were floating yeah, in the, real bodies. They were real yeah, bodies. Yeah. Cadavers that were taken from like India and stuff like yeah. that because they hadn't got enough money to like pay for you know, plastic bodies. The actors didn't know this at the time during the film. And, and that's why they said there was a course on that movie. That's there you insane. go. There is some that's crazy cool. trivia for you. Yeah. Uh, read it up there as well. It's fucking weird. Well, I think people you. actually died making that movie. Yeah. As well. The little yeah. girl died as well. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Well, there you go. If you ever want to get um, yeah. real bodies and they can't afford plastic, well, that's just, yeah. just order them from India. <laughs> 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 Next to nothing. Now, now here's another movie that's very, very underrated. There's not many people that talk about this. It's a movie called Darkness Falls. It came out in like 2003. And it's basically a story of the Tooth Fairy. You know, you're going to laugh because you think, you think like it's a Tooth Fairy, but... It's not The Rock, though. <laughs> oh, th there was a movie called The Tooth Fairy, wasn't there? Yeah, he was The Rock. But uh, Darkness Falls, basically, uh, it's about this horrible, disfigured woman. And she, like, comes and takes people's teeth. And basically, if you see her, uh, you're bound to die. And um, you, you can't, like, she's afraid of the light, so... Uh, the guy that sees her as a kid, he's grown up and uh, he has to stay in the light all the time. He's terrified of the dark or she'll get him. And he's gonna and he's gonna he could die and stuff. It's it's really good. When you first see the tooth fairy in it, she's horribly disfigured, she's all born and stuff like that. Really, really underrated movie. Uh check it out, definitely. I have to check that out myself. Because my next film will be Hellraiser. Now it's not probably just the force and I like the whole the force trade them now. Yeah. I have the whole collection, the whole cube. That's actually pretty fucking hard to get that cube. Well, what one would you recommend most out of the three, out of that trilogy? Oh, they're all great ones. They're probably the first one. The first one just seems to be come to yeah, just daddy. Come to daddy. <laughs> Fantastic movie. Good the first one is yeah, directed by Clive Barker. Yep, that's right. And starring Doug Bradley, the only pinhead in in, mm -hmm. in fairness. Uh, what what's your take on the the, the right, Hellraiser series? Oh, I, I see one and two as the same movie because they take up Can, like straight, straight away. Yeah, so true, yeah, if true, I'm watching yeah, one, yeah. I'll watch two because yeah, yeah. two know. was really really good. I, I like the whole mattress scene with the the ant. Oh, oh yeah, 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 scene. Yeah. And she's just coming out of the mattress. But even and the whole scene when Frank's crawling across the floor yeah. in the first movie, the, the body just creeping across the floor, it's and, awesome and, and then like s sucking the life out of uh, you know men back yeah. in the house, and he's just like getting sucking the life out of man. Becoming more whole because he escapes hell, 
fucking brilliant move. That creepy ass doctor that turns into the oh, sound yeah, boy. Yeah, 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 the second yeah, one, yeah, yeah with yeah. the big thing on his head. Yeah. It's insane. Such, such a I good prescribe movie. amputation. <laughs> and blades <laughs> coming out with fingers and stuff. Yeah. When we watched that when we were younger, when Hammer as a Tree came out. And this command number. Oh, yeah, we thought it was on Phil CD, man. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, and yeah, the man the camera the But if you look at it now, it's like, what the fuck are they thinking? But the whole, the really good part in that movie is like, I am the I am the Christ or something like that. Take my body and he shoves the fucking piece of flesh in a man's mouth. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, such a good movie. Yeah. But that was part three. That was hell on earth. Yeah, yeah. So uh, all good movies except the new ones, I thought. Um, I think my last and um, your, la your last movie, go on. My final favorite movie for Halloween is my favorite movie ever. It's The Exorcist. In mm -hmm. Moya is the only true horror movie ever made. That is still scary. Like yeah. the uncut version of that. Oh, terrifies, oh, terrifies yeah. me. But you'll have to watch the VHS version of it. You can't watch it on Blu ray, yeah, you can't watch DVD. Yeah, yeah. What's the, the uncut version with the spoiler yeah, walk? Yeah, the spoiler walk, yeah. Horror. And all the No, fashion. but you have to watch it with the grain. It has to be grainy. Yeah, it has yeah. to. The, the beauty of the exorcist is you can't see what's going on in the background the sometimes. Head. And in the DVD and the Blu ray version, you can see the wires right yeah, this being yeah, yeah. pulled up on. It's too, it's too clear. It's, you can see too many things. The thing in the dark doesn't get you. So if you have it on VHS lying around watch somewhere, yeah, watch or even download on VHS quality yeah. somewhere, yeah. you just get it on four. No, was it 240p or something yeah. like that? Well, well, was it video quality one? 140 or whatever. And what people <laughs> never talk about the Exorcist, well, a lot of people would, but when I've been speaking to them about it, it's just like it's such a violent movie. Mm -hmm. It's mm. crazy. And there's so many unexpected things happening in it. Like that spoiler walk specifically scared the life out of me when I seen it because it, you're not expecting it. She just closes the door and then the music just goes boom. Everything's just fucked up and she's like coming down the stairs backwards. That that frightened the life out of me. That's one great thing about the Exodus. There's not a lot of like music in it. There's not a lot mm. of music, it's silent. Mm. And mm. this just gone on the background. And the effects like were fantastic. Like yeah, yeah, chicken yeah. soup for vomit. Yeah, yeah. Pea soup. Was a pea soup? Pea yeah. soup, yeah, and he had to freeze this out to minus 40 degrees. So every time they came in every day, there was a layer of ice all over the set. Wow. And uh, the sound effects he had got from a warehouse or a slaughterhouse from all the cows getting their throat slit and all the gurgling and stuff came from the uh, Such a good uh, movie. slaughterhouse. So many yeah. like iconic scenes that came from that movie that was just like. Yeah, it's and it's, tubular it, bells. It's, I mean, it's yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, tubular bells. Like, it, it's, yeah, it's fantastic. It was a Paul something. Oh yeah, Oakfield or something like that. <laughs> yes. Who did the tub tubular bells? I think it was Leave Paul. a comment if you know. Who, 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 who <laughs> did the song for tubular bells? Leave that comment down below. And uh, if you have any small recommendations before they go, movies to check. Um, Hocus Pocus. Oh, it was a fun holiday. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hocus yeah. Pocus, it's say Casper the Friendly Ghost. Yeah. Aaron is scared stupid. Oh, Aaron is scared Here we stupid. go, we're yeah. leaving you with those. We, yeah. we watched that last Halloween. Yeah, that's right, yeah. You can't see it. Like, we all kind of, we grew up in that movie. It's like, yeah, they're so pure, pure 90s. Like, we grew up in that So, anyway, guys, that is our movie recommendations for this year, Halloween 2018. Uh, stick around the Power Metal Gamer and you will see a lot more spooky things towards the end of the month. So, uh, we will all catch you later. We're gonna go watch a movie and have a burger and enjoy your booze and you'll have your tea. Yes. <laughs> so anyways guys. <laughs>